Hello and welcome back to some more Dwarf Fortress with me, the Green Dragon. We are back in our fortress, which happens to be called Whipgorged, and the world of Silnalish. We are currently in spring or early summer, I can tell, because we have elves here, who are, we are probably not going to even bother trading with, because fuck the elves. In fact, I might just kill them, because fuck the elves. I think my next priority should be to dig out some more... Well, some more of exactly what I'm already doing, in fact. Namely, bulk storage for a great many things, which we are going to need and use. Because, you know, having a place to put all the fracking furniture, not just furniture, but the fracking furniture, is a good good thing and thus we will endeavor to do just that open up like that I've actually come up with a plan for my next fortress which will involve creating a mega magma death trap for our <laughs> actual you know fort namely we will turn the whole of the main stairway into a magma trap which can be flooded with magma. We'll have a magma and water tower on the surface. It can be it will be floodable with magma, then it will be fillable with water to turn the magma into obsidian and then we'll be able to just dig it out and continue as if nothing had happened. And you appear to be slightly wounded. How wounded though? Just scarred. Okay, so you are functional generally speaking. Right, what's damage? Right hand, left lower leg, so you should be able to grasp things still. That's a... Uh, that's a tree. That should probably not be there. That should probably not be there. Hmm. Okay. So that's some trash that's lost. Yeah, all in all, things seem fine there. I think we'll start by having one thing, as in one stockpile for just furniture and one possibly for finished goods other than the bone and, uh, you know, stuff like that. Wow, goblin pieces. Okay. The goblin. No, bones we can have. Cobble. Well, maybe those can be used. Just, you know. It is strange, the idea of, you know, using goblin toes. But yeah. As for the ability to actually do a... Wait, 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 wait. What madness is this? This is broken for some reason. Why? Hell, all of these are broken. Why? Why all of a sudden are they broken? Because we didn't start properly from the bottom, did we? Do you have st you have stable foundations? So all the stuff that goes up from the bottom should be fine, but the stuff further up is gonna get screwy because of s well everything, and all of these appear to have collapsed. Because they started building from the fracking, the fucking dwarves. That's the only thing I can say. Fucking dwarves. Of all the creatures that. God damn it. God damn it. God fracking damn it. You know? I think I might want to save some magma, actually. Okay, I think it was here that it would flow out. How oh, to... Yes, these pumps are fine. It's the ones deeper in that are uh, screwed up. Anyway, I don't know how I could save the magma, at least. There's that, right? Okay, and you just keep on digging. That will be fine. I mean, Jesus Christ. 
Alright, I turned those into architects, which is completely and utterly useless. Especially since they're busy with other things. Why don't we just make a fuck ton of our architects and let everyone work on that? It will certainly make things a lot easier. Hopefully, it will not screw everything up. I'm gonna actually have to make an effort to recover those glass pipes and corkscrews because we kind of need them now. Right, I don't really want to waste them. I mean, I guess I could order up some new ones, but it took them so long to make them that, you know, it seems a waste to just, you know, waste them. Of course, that's the problem here, because we would have to actually open it up. Silver. Those are constructions made of silver. Huh. Okay, so what do we end up losing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... No, six. So six sets of stuff, all in all. That might be okay, theoretically. So, okay, why don't we take a look at actual, well, stuff like this, like robes and the like. Get rid of some of that. Well, breastplates, not so much, but, you know, stuff like this. Well, we can make clothing things and then just sell them en masse. You know, something like that might be best. Because this, yeah, if we deal with it this way, it's gonna be just gonna take too fracking long. Yeah, and they just keep changing their... Yeah, we definitely need an armor weapon stockpile. So, one for finished goods, like clothing and the like, one for furniture. That will be a good start, methinks. And, right, I did order some more coffins, and I think we actually need them, so I'm gonna place them down. Let the dwarves be buried in their, you know, stuff. I'm sure they'll be happier for it. Buried in the rock forever and ever and ever. The food storage should by all rights be somewhere here, I suppose. Another important thing is that we will need to dig out more windmills. However we slice it, more windmills will be necessary here. So that's another three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that allows for like four lines or something. Which should possibly be good enough. Maybe. We'll see, I suppose. And someone became a hammer dwarf. Well, good for them. That means they're picking up more and more skill. Speaking of... Huh. They are actually all filled out. That's good. It's really good. And you are happily making barrels and bins, which is, again, kind of good. Here, I think we're just gonna cut up the glass. Yay so, and yay so. And that should be just fine. Just fine indeed. Just finish up that particular form of work. Okay, maybe, yeah, maybe we should actually trade with them. You know? Maybe we should actually trade with them. That could help. That could be a thing. Okay, uh, anyway, someone's once again at the door, which is complete bullshit. Every time I start recording this, someone seems to arrive, but I really have to go and get this, so I'll see you there. See you in a bit.